All right, so the last thing we need to do is save our file. So we're gonna go to File, and we're gonna go to Save. So you can save as a PSD, which is a Photoshop file. So that would be good to have an original because that will keep all of your layers. So Save as PSD. And then what you'll be able to do is name your file select where it's going to save so hopefully it's saving in your senior portraits folder that you've created in photo 2 or it might download onto your computer great <laughs> then um, your next option is to export so to turn this in you're going to want to export it as a jpeg because jpegs are best files for sharing online so what we're going to do is if you take a look it'll show you the size of the file so 70 percent is already making this only two megabytes when we were back in school we were actually turning in 10 megabyte files so if you change that that'll be about four what i found yesterday is that for this particular file 98% makes it about 10 megabytes. If you do really small, like two megabytes, it's gonna be really blurry. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do, you can attach the metadata that is embedded in a file, saying when you shot it, your aperture, all that stuff. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit save. Um, if it does download onto your computer into a weird place, I would just make sure to relocate the picture in the Google Drive so you have it nice and organized. Um, but here you have a nice PSD file, which is going to have all of these layers that you've saved. And then your JPEG file will be good for turning in to Canvas.